everyone. I'm here today with Tom Doran, a member of Advent Church, who's going to share with us with an opportunity that he has come across and, well, actually helped to create a fundraiser for a nonprofit that's located here in Egan called Treehouse. So, Tom, I guess what we need to know first is I know what a treehouse is, but I don't think you're talking about one built up in a tree. No, Treehouse uh, has been around since 1979. Uh, it started in Brooklyn Park um, by a middle school teacher who was concerned. He was seeing a lot of his students that in the language of 1979, the bad kids. Mm -hmm. uh, he actually went to the principal of the school and, and told the principal, you know, I want all your bad kids. And he took them, gave them special uh, attention in class and uh, realized he needed help. and brought in some social workers. And this has expanded to uh, eight or 10 different suburbs in the cities. There's mm. 70 employees that wow. work in Treehouse. Uh, currently there's a, a chapter in Egan that has three social workers. And uh, I'm, I'm a volunteer member of their CDT board, the community uh, development team, uh, trying to help them out by doing exactly this, um, helping them fundraise. How yeah. exciting to yeah. find that what was one person's vision to help change the lives of right. students has grown to be a, a multi-dimensional service opportunity Correct. that adults can be involved in as volunteers, Correct. Um, so that it's grown to this level. They provide social services free to, and they provided, no kid has ever paid for any of wow. this support. Uh, and my understanding is that um, our neighbor over here, Easter Lutheran, houses this ministry? Correct. Easter Lutheran gave them office space and the basement to meet with the kids on uh, twice a week. Uh, Tuesday night is a social small group discussion. Yeah. Thursday night is a Christian um, adventure night for some of the kids to get away from home and learn about Christianity and, and the church. Um, so yeah, yeah a, a they're safe place to hang out a safe on a place, Thursday night. Correct, and that's a very big thing, a safe place yeah. for them to be. Well, I, um, I understand that you helped Treehouse develop a new fundraising opportunity. Yes, uh, my wife and I worked at a small farm, uh, a CSA farm in Prior Lake last summer, and we saw that that farm has been doing these uh, plant sales for the last 10 years. Uh, and being a member of the board with CDT, it's like you put one on one together and it's like, this is a piece of cake. You know, we work over here, we see how this works and you see the need over there. And I've been working with Paul Maloney at Treehouse since uh, November on this plant sale idea. So, uh, you know, that's pretty exciting when you can get one and one to equal two yep. and make a real difference. Yep. So this plant sale, and I love the title of it, Rooted in Hope, Rooted in Hope. Right. So it's an opportunity uh, for us to purchase plants? Yes, and the hope is their key mission is providing hope mm -hmm. for teenagers, yeah. okay? Um, so this plant sale, uh, we've come up with 16 different items from the farm that we want to offer to people. Uh, Treehouse has a website that you can order from and we have this flyer uh, that shows you what is available. And this flyer will be sent to, to Advent folks in the, via the Connect, I understand. Correct. Uh, there's a link already on uh, the, Advent, the bottom of Advent's home page. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the Rooted in Hope. So click on it and you'll be it? sent right to Treehouse's okay. order page. This sounds amazing because, you know, it's still pandemic time. And the idea of having to go out to a giant greenhouse and milling about with people, you mean I could just click on this link and buy my impatience that way? Correct, this year? correct. Um, okay. The sale runs through March 20th. Uh, the week after that, we'll export all of the orders off of Treehouse's database, send the orders to the farm in Prior Lake, Green Earth Growers, and they will grow the plants, package the plants, and they'll deliver them here on their truck. Uh, May 3rd, where you can come and pick up your plants. Okay, so direct from the farm to here. Right. We're one of the pickup sites I see here, right, right here in our parking lot at Advent UMC. Right, Advent. And um, I know I'll be here to help with that. <laughs> and uh, 
the rest of us can all help by ordering some plants. Yeah, that's a big thing. That's the next uh, big task in front of us is getting this out to as many people as we can. Um, Paul and I spent a lot of time organizing the database and the flyer. But Paul and I don't know enough people to make this a success. Yeah, to make we it have a to have scan. people sell. And right. You have to get this in front of people. And having Advent uh, allow this to be on their home page uh, is a great win for us. Well, and, and how exciting that, I mean, all you have to do is, like, share the link with your friends and neighbors. Right. And like I said, to not have to go out and about um, right. to be able to just order what you want right from right from your own home computer right. seems like a darn good deal to me. Yep. Um, one one uh, challenge we have with the first th six items on the form, the flowers and vegetables ooh. that come in flats. Hot um, pepper mix. I'm all in on that one. Well, to get the hot pepper mix, you have to buy 36 peppers, and that's a lot of peppers. The that's same a with, lot of peppers you even can't, for me. You can't Tom. buy a dozen marigolds. You have to buy 48 marigolds. So um, try and look at it like a, a, a chance for you to call your neighbors and friends and tell them you're doing this plant sale. You want to buy some marigolds, but you can't plant 48 marigolds. Ask them well, to split. I probably could, well, but not okay. a, yeah, you're right. But if you so, can't, you know, yeah. it's a chance to call your friends and neighbors, and it's cold out, it's nasty yeah. out, um, we're all separated because yeah. of the pandemic. Here's a chance for you to use yeah. this as an excuse to call your friends. Exactly. And to so, share something this spring. I'm excited that we get to be rooted in hope and share the love and share in an opportunity to make a difference in the lives of students he, right here in Egan. Correct. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you for, thank, thank for you. bringing this ministry to our attention. You bet, you bet. And what, a, what an opportunity we have. If you want more information, you can contact Tom directly. The best way to do that is call the office or email us at the office, info at advent-umc.com. We'll be happy to share Tom's information with you. Thank you all for your yep. support. Thank you. Stay rooted in hope. <laughs>